Today we will see how to extract comments, comments with reply and notes. We will, we will see three ways. The first way is to extract all comments and notes to the next cell by this way. The next one is to extract comments and notes using functions. To extract note or to extract comment with function. And the last one, my favorite, is to extract all to the list. Let me remove this. And here we see notes, comments and reply. Interested? Let's take a look. And the first option is to export comments and notes to the next column. Here we have our column and I highlighted comments and notes with different color. And what we will do, we will export all these comments and notes to the next cell or next column. To do it, we need to open the Visual Basic Editor. We will go to Developer tab and click here Visual Basic. If you do not have Developer tab, all you need is to go to File, Options, Customize Ribbon, Main tab, and click on Developer, and then click on OK, and it will be appeared here. And so you go to Visual Basic, Insert, Module, and here we will place our code. Let me copy the name and change the module name by this one. What we do here, that we declare our variable as comment credit and our second variable as comment, which mean note. Why it is comment and it is not note? Because a note is the former comment in Excel. If you would like to see the comments and the notes in details, you can click on top corner or in the description below the video. So we will say for each variable which mean comment in active sheet with properties comments threaded we will move for one cell to the right and we will place the text of this comment here the most important things to understand is the properties of the object if you would like to see more in details you can click on top right corner or See the description below of the objects and methods in VBA. And here it is the offset function. You can see more about offset functions if you go on the top corner and in the description below as well. So here we will have all our, co our code for comment. And here we will export notes. So we will say for each variable note in active sheet with properties comments, which means the notes one cell to the right we will put the text of the note and then we will go to next let's see how it works we will be inside of the code click on run code or f5 and here it is and the difference you see here between the comments and the notes how it is placed the next option is to export columns and notes with a function here we have comments and notes. I highlighted them by different color. And uh, to add function, we will open again the Visual Basic Editor and insert module and add our functions. The first function will be to get note. We will declare it a string and the formula will be insert comment property. It is the former of note and with text, we will place text. The second function will be to get comment and we will declare cell as range. And to get comment, we will be, it will be the same. Basically, it will be cell, comment, thread and with text. And let's see how it works. So we will put here and let's say get note and put here and it is note. Let me see. Yes, remove the column and the author and remove the column. And let's say the next one will be get comment instead of note. And we can say any comment here. We have the comment 
to add the revenue from the last period and let's see yes and here it is the last one is to export comments and reply and also notes to the list it is my favorite one so let me remove here our comments and notes and open visual basic editor again and insert a new module and i copy here my code copy and here and sub we need and what we will say with this code that in the active sheet we will print all comments notes and replies to the end page let's see how it works we will click inside of the code run of 5 then click back here to the sheet and let's see ctrl p and go to the second page and here we have every note comment and comment comment we do not see reply here right let we add any reply let's say here for example please check this data done it is correct and let me insert the reply let me go back ctrl p and to the second page and let's see here we have reply already added and we see that it is dynamic cool right and that's all thank you for watching